First on CBS this morning, we're taking the sky to show you a new safety feature designed to save lives. Two plane crashes last week raised new questions about the safety of small planes. Around 250 people die every year in small plane crashes. But new technology gives pilots and passengers the option of hitting what is basically a panic button to automatically land an aircraft. It's currently being certified by regulators. Chris Van Cleve took a test flight. Good morning. We are flying over Kansas right now, and we're about to show you some brand new technology that really could save lives. It is an emergency auto land feature. The button's right there. If something were to happen to our pilot here, and I pushed it, it would get us safely on the ground at the nearest airport. Emergency, emergency, emergency. That's a student pilot calling for help in Australia in August. So we're going to need an ambulance and somebody here. Right he made his first ever landing after his flight instructor passed out. But often on a small plane, there's only one pilot. While crashes due to pilot incapacitation are relatively rare, they've killed at least 269 people in the U.S. in the last 10 years. When something happens to the pilot going forward, people live. And today, there's a good chance that's not going to happen if you have an incapacitated pilot. Garmin has designed new emergency auto land technology. It hopes prevents crashes like that of professional golfer Payne Stewart. His private jet lost cabin pressure, knocking out the pilots. The new auto land system is designed to self-activate when there's been a prolonged period of no pilot activity. It could also prevent more common accidents, crashes like the one that killed John F. Kennedy Jr., where it's believed he got disoriented in weather and lost control, or where the plane is dangerously low on fuel. That would be a situation that we'd also hope that they'd push the button and get the airplane and themselves and passengers down safely. Eric Sargent is Garmin's test pilot. He took us up in a Piper M600 with the new system. How confident are you in this system to safely land any time it's activated? Uh, really confident. I would put my family in here in a heartbeat and be confident that if they push the button, if I wasn't around, that it would get them down safely. All a passenger has to do is lift this and push the button. Affirmative. Yeah. Emergency auto land activated. The plane then picks the closest airport from a list of thousands worldwide where it can safely land, factoring in weather, terrain, and the amount of fuel on board. It radios the tower, declares an emergency, and updates passengers on the approaching landing. The pilot can override the technology at any point. The emergency auto land system is controlling all flight functions. 500. So 500 feet to go in altitude. And the plane is completely flying itself. The plane right is now. completely flying itself. You can see it hands off. With the runway in sight and sergeant's hands off the controls, we're going in. That brings us to the center of the runway. For what turned out to be a smooth, hands-free landing pretty much as good as a, a human pilot. It's going to be available first in certain new Piper airplanes and will expand to other new aircraft. The hope is that in the near future, it'll be able to be added to existing aircraft as well. For CBS This Morning, Chris Van Cleve flying over Kansas. Wow. Does that, does that give you comfort, Gail? <laughs> no, that's one of those, mixed, like, how do I've they do that? I've got mixed feelings, but I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed that they can do that. Yes. Yeah, very impressed that they can do that. Yeah. But what are the other conditions that go along with that? I don't know. It's pretty amazing. I don't know it, how they it, do it. They is. find an airport and then yeah. land the thing. I mean, they do everything it. and then turn around in the seat yeah. and say it's going to be okay and tap your knee. But I mean, the weather I mean, was good. Everything was perfect. The conditions were great. Self-flying planes coming yeah. after self-driving yeah. cars. Yeah. We're, I know. we're on the way. Sweating. All right. Thank you, Chris. <laughs>